So this week I decided that I was gonna eat a salad every day. I've already said this before, but I started working in a salad place, so I started eating salads a lot more regularly, and I was seeing a lot of changes in my body, my digestion. So I wanted to do a little experiment and see what would happen if I had a salad a day. I think I, think I had a salad for like six days, six days in a row. I don't know if I did seven because by the seventh day, I literally, like the thought of a salad, I was like, Whoa. we'll just say about a week. I had a salad every day, whether it was for lunch or dinner, I tried to incorporate one salad into my diet. That's all you really need to know at this point. So let's just get into the video and we'll start with day one. Today is day one of eating a salad. And this is what my body looks like on day one. Chill, Gary. This is the first salad of the day. Um, I got a barbecue ranch. It comes with romaine, mixed green, pico, black beans, corn, tortilla strips, avocado, and chicken. And you get like a little barbecue ranch sauce. This one is like one of my favorites. Swass it, swass it, swass it. And shake. It off, looks a lot less pretty when you take it off, but it's, you know. I mentioned this before, but I work at this salad place, so I got this for free. You get one free salad a day, so obviously I'm gonna take advantage of that. And their salads are super cheap. It's like $6.19 for one salad, and it's a pretty big portion. Like, you get this much, like, compared to my head. And they have, like, eight or nine different salads that you can choose from, so. Honestly, I used to hate salads. Like, freshman year of college, I hated, despised salads. But it's because I was eating nasty-ass, bland-ass Caesar salads. Like. I'm sorry, but a Caesar salad is disgusting. It's so bad. And Cobb salads. I'm sorry, but if you like Cobb salads, <gasps> just a lot of like cold bacon and eggs. I'm like, what What are you doing, bro? If you don't fuck with salads either, try Salad and Go. They have a bunch of different ones. I like buffalo chicken. It just like, it actually tastes good. And their drive through is so fast. By the time you get from the first ordering window to the pickup window, it's done. Done. I'll see you guys tomorrow for salad number two. Aren't you guys excited? Aren't you excited for salad number two? Hey, bitches. So we're gonna get, this is day two. <laughs> this, is day two. this is day two and we're getting a salad. I pull up to you. <laughs> Hey girl. <laughs> you look like a little boy. Hi, can I get a barbecue ranch with chicken? Yes. With chicken? Anything else? No, that'll be it. <laughs> How do I, I feel like I should go to class like this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me interview you real quick. So, what's your name right now? What's your favorite TV show? Same film. <laughs> Oh, okay, if you like Seinfeld, you probably like, you know, Friends. Do you like Friends? No. Do you enjoy any sports? Do you enjoy playing sports? Hockey. <laughs> Hockey? <laughs> oh, wow. Um... It's my chutzpah. <laughs> my chutzpah. Oh, like the shit that comes out of your Gird? bird. <laughs> no. <laughs> Isn't, doesn't that just mean no like question. huzzah, no like hurrah? No question. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Do you know what Jiffy Lube is? Yes. What is it? That's where I take bubbles baths. Vanilla bean bubble bath. Oh, vanilla bean bubble bath. You don't yes. like dirty bubble bath? No. Yes. I drink bubble bath. Oops. I need to get the next lane. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Get in the Oh, oh shit! Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> next question. Hey, what's your favorite type of uh, car? Chevy. Chevy. <laughs> That was such a quick answer. <laughs> um, I'm driving Chevy, no? <laughs> Hello? Uh, uh. <laughs> you wanna take bubble bath? <laughs> I feel like I'm in crack, bruh. Dude, I think you are too. I just got four hours of sleep. I think that's it. Yeah, hold bubble bath. <laughs> Come on. Oh! 
So on this night right here, I got a buffalo chicken and Nikki got a barbecue ranch, the one that I got yesterday. So we about to eat. All right, so we're getting into it with the buffalo chicken. It usually comes with croutons and jalapenos, but you know me, croutons, gluten, gotta stay away. And jalapenos, sometimes I'm just a little baby and I can't handle the spice. No, truly, sometimes it's just a little too spicy for me, so I cut it out. And that way, it's delicious. Just wait for it. Yeah, it's good. It's day three. The sun is shining. The palm trees are out. Look at these palm trees. The sun is shining and I am sick of salad. So I'm probably just gonna have like some avocado toast and some yogurt for lunch and we'll save the salad for dinner, but I'm already just like, Ooh. But I, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna like give up on this shit. I gotta keep at it. That's the whole point of this video. In retrospect, in pers- Is that the right word? Let's hope. Um, having to eat a salad for dinner is like one of the easiest things that I could do. Like there's a lot. People are going through a lot tougher shit than having to eat a salad for dinner. So like, I'm gonna stop complaining right here. It's a good day. It's a beautiful day. It's so green out. I mean, I kind of look like I have a little mullet going on here. That's the balding. But if you weren't aware, I was balding a couple months ago and my hair is finally starting to grow back. That's why I've got like this little party in the front going on. Usually it's in the back, but I got it in the front, so. So yeah, I'll see you for the salad tonight. Are you guys just, are you really excited? Are you really excited to see the salad? All right, so this is what my body looked like on day three and I'm not gonna lie, I was actually like pretty shocked. I feel like my bloating went down quite a bit. My digestion was really good. Um, my tummy was just looking flatter. So yeah, this is me like sticking it out, sucking in. Cause let's be real, we don't walk around like <sighs> cinched at the waist. Um, and then this was just what I decided to have for lunch. It was just, you know, some blueberries, granola, yogurt, all the goods. And then I had some avocado toast, but I didn't film that. And then dinner rolled around and I had to pick up the dreaded salad, but actually not as dreaded because look at this. This is actually kind of sexy, okay? This is the buffalo salad. No, this is the barbecue salad. What am I talking about? You know, you know the drill. You gotta put the dressing on, you gotta shake it, you gotta eat it. Um, this is just me eating it. I love the barbecue salad. It's basically like kind of a taco salad, I would say. And then I add sweet potatoes to it to make it a little more hefty and a little more filling. And this is the one day that I did not make my bed. So mom, don't come for me, all right? It's usually made, it's usually pretty, but I just spent the rest of the night watching YouTube as I do and eating my good old salad. Okay, I don't know what day we're on, but <clears throat> Got another salad, we got buffalo chicken, um, comes with greens, celery, carrots, tomatoes, and then buffalo chicken with a side of blue cheese. Yes, I like blue cheese. When I used to get the salad, the whole time I thought that they were giving me ranch. And then one day I found out it was blue cheese and I was like, well, I couldn't really tell the difference, so I'll stick with it. Okay, yeah, when I have it on its own, I can definitely tell it's blue cheese, but in the salad I cannot. The big reveal. Yummy. I am indeed getting really sick of salad, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the tube. I'm gonna say TMI, but also like, we all do it. We all go to the bathroom. So like, why is it always TMI? It's like, it's normal. But I've been pooping every day. And knowing me and my constipated ass and like how many stomach problems I have, that's just like, that doesn't happen. That's not normal. But all these veggies is really just sending things on through. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. I'm getting sick of it, but I'm feeling good. Is that somebody's car? <laughs> Somebody was watching me do that. <laughs> All right, sexies, it's the final day. I'm just leaving salad and go, and I'm trying a different salad for the last day. I'm just a giver. I'm a giver, and I love to give people the good content. I switched it up, and I got a Greek. I've never had a Greek. I don't really know what's in it. I don't know if I'm gonna like the flavor profiles, but let's see how it goes. I got chicken. I think a Greek is romaine, feta, cucumbers, onions, olives, 
So don't be eating one of these if you're gonna be like kissing somebody later in the night because your breath gonna be. Yeah, I don't know why this is reminding me of a pizza place. That is a big... I'm finally done. The week is over. I'm finally done. Thank God. Initially, I saw a big difference in my digestion and how flat my tummy was. I would say around like day three, my stomach was actually really flat when I would wake up. And I was like, oh yes, the greens are doing their job. You know, like I'm, I'm looking scanty. And also I felt great. My digestion was amazing. I pooped every day. If you guys don't know this about me already, but like my digestion is never like that. There were days, there were times where I would go five days, five days without using the bathroom. Do you know how painful that is? Do you know how painful that is? I really hope you don't because I would not wish that upon anybody. But after a couple of days, I didn't really see too much of a huge difference. I kind of just stayed at those results. So I continued to have good digestion, but like my stomach didn't get any flatter after that. It was just kind of like the same, um, which was fine. I was really happy with the way that I looked. I was happy with how I felt. After I was done filming this video, I went back to like my normal diet that I usually have. Um, I didn't have as many greens and my digestion wasn't as great again. It was like I was using the bathroom every other day, which kind of sucked. And I felt like I was bloating again and that I was more constipated. So that kind of sucked because I was like, excuse me? That kind of sucked because I was like, do I need to have a salad every day for my digestion to be good? And I don't think so. I think I just need to incorporate some sort of green in my diet and that will really help my digestion a lot more. So. In terms of you, try this if you are looking for short-term results. Let's say you have some sort of event where you need to slip into a dress or you wanna look nice in a tux, whatever, and you just want to kinda of de-bloat a little bit, you want better digestion, you want a flatter tummy, I would say try this. Long-term though, like I said, after a couple of days, I didn't really see a big difference in the way that I looked, but my digestion was still good, so I think long-term for me, I'm going to try to eat a salad maybe like four, three to four to five times a week. Just depends on like if I'm craving it. Um, because personally for me, like when my digestion is out of whack, my, my gut literally rules my life. My mental feels out of place. I feel like I can't focus. So this week I felt like I was on top of my game. Like my focus was great and I just felt good. I just felt good. I had a lot of energy. So I think I'm just going to try to incorporate more salads into my like weekly diet rather than my daily diet. Um, and it's not just for looks. It's because I want my digestion to be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was my little science experiment, okay? That was my little experiment that I did. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you wanna see more videos like this, let me know because I actually kinda had a lot of fun with this. Let me know what you thought. I really like appreciate all the feedback and the comments. Like, I'm doing this for you and for me. It's for us, you know what I mean? I know Salad and Go runs in Arizona and Texas, so if you have a Salad and Go, if you live in Arizona or Texas, try Salad and Go. Trust me, you'll find one salad on there that you'll like. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week for the next one.